So we've developed a brand, Them Before Us, that seeks to use story to highlight the true victims and critique all practices and ideas and policies that prioritize adult desires over children's rights. And I'll say, you know, we support any adult, gay or same-sex same attracted or straight, who is defending the rights of children and protecting their rights. And we will oppose any adult, gay or straight, who is asking kids to sacrifice so that they can live as they please. My husband and I were on a walk a couple weeks ago, and um, you know, I was talking about different things that were going on, and he goes, like, he goes, Katie, like, what do you want? Like, if you could measure success, what does success for them before us look like? And I was like, a global takeover. <laughs> right, that's it. We will succeed when we, I want world domination, right? That's what I'm after. That anytime there's a conversation about marriage, parenthood, child rearing, fertility, anything like that, right? Somebody is always there going, wait a second, what about the kids? Right? I understand that you're suffering and infertility is so hard, so hard. I understand that you're your, your marriage is really hard right now and you guys are having communication and intimacy issues and it's really difficult. What about the kids, right? I understand that you're 37 and you haven't met the right guy and you just feel like your biological clock is ticking and you know, you could put in $2,000 and get, you know, find a donor and have a, what about the kids, right? Or any time that you're discussing this in policy, definition of marriage, whether or not to legalize commercial surrogacy, what about the kids? Right, that that question is asked first and every other comment revolves around the rights of children. Right, that's success. So you've, you may have noticed there's a bit of a common theme in all of these different issues that I've, that I've just talked about. Um, a couple of common things. Number one, you're probably going, you're gonna piss off a lot of people. And the answer is you're right. Right, like give me enough time and I will run afoul every adult group in the United States because there's not a lot of people who are orienting their lives around the rights and needs of their own children or other children. The other thing is that you've noticed that what is the one common thread here? And it is the expectations that adults do the hard thing so that children don't have to sacrifice their fundamental rights. To be child-centric and understand why children deserve special protection makes demands on all of us. And that is that everybody has to conform. Everybody has to discipline themselves. Everybody has to give up. At some point, most of us are probably not gonna get everything that we want as it relates to marriage, family, parenthood, whatever. And that's hard. But it is unjust for an adult to say, I don't wanna do the hard thing, I'll make the kid do the hard thing instead.